everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya and I help people tap into their inner healer naturally and intuitively. I thought it would be appropriate to share an EFT tapping script that I had made for myself several years ago when I was working in the field of organ and tissue donation and I was seeing a lot of healthcare workers struggling with the loss of patients that they were caring for in the intensive care units and in the emergency departments. And when I put this script together, it was primarily for myself to help myself deal with getting through the uh, feelings of failure and uh, shame and guilt for some of the patients that I had uh, cared for, some of the families that I had cared for. And I put this script together to help uh, healthcare workers, first responders, to get through those uh, uh, trapped emotions that can get caught up in our body when we do care for patients and then they unfortunately uh, pass away or don't make it through, through that uh, process of us caring for them. So given the circumstances in the world today with the virus, I thought it would be beneficial to share this tapping script with those of you who are boots on the ground, first responders, healthcare workers, those of you who are out there caring for these patients who are coming in with these viruses. And unfortunately, you know, the background that I was in, I, I had a understanding that not everyone is going to make it when they come into the intensive care unit, but we work really hard to try and, uh, you know, care for those, those patients and those families. And when they don't make it through, it's really hard on some of us, especially majority of the healthcare workers out there who are in that empathic category where they work really, really hard to care for these patients and then they lose them. And then we carry those burdens or those those emotional pains onto us in our energetic field. And it makes it really difficult for us to move forward if we're carrying on uh, that, that energy of those people that we were caring for. Or we could go one of two ways. We could either carry that emotion with us or we can become really hard and really cold, which I saw a lot of that happening uh, with some of the the healthcare workers that I was working with, specifically physicians and uh, nursing staff that had seen so much loss and so much death that they actually became numb to the emotions that they were feeling just to get through the day. So when I created this script, it was specifically something for me. And with all of my scripts on my uh, channel, they are all templates, guys. So if there's verbiage in here that does not resonate with you, then just fix it. Fix it to whatever it does resonate you know, with you. This is a template that I created that helped me through some really difficult times, and I just wanted to share it with you all. So just like uh, every other tapping script, we want to just start off and kind of rate where we are at on a scale of 1 to 10 with our emotions and, and where are we feeling. You know, if we've specifically... Uh, recently struggled with the loss of a patient and it's really, really raw, then you might be, you know, higher on the scale, closer to eight, nine, or 10. But if it's something that may have happened, um, you know, maybe in the past few months or in the past few years, it may be a little bit lower on the scale. Doesn't mean it's still not there because our subconscious mind is holding on to those events, those images, those memories. That's how our subconscious mind works. It works like a, a photograph and it holds on to that particular memory and it attaches an emotion to it. So really what we're doing with the tapping is we aren't eliminating the memory, we're eliminating that emotional charge or deactivating that emotional charge around that particular circumstance, okay? So go ahead and just kind of rate where you're at on a scale of one to 10 and we're gonna, um, you know, take a few deep breaths here together. So you wanna breathe in through your nose for a count of three. Hold it. And then breathe out for a count of three. We'll do one more. Okay, so really what we're trying to do when we're taking those deep breaths is we are deactivating the sympathetic nervous system, which is that fight, flight, or freeze response. And we're activating the parasympathetic nervous system, which is that rest and digest. So in those deep breaths, if you have to take more, then go ahead, take a few more. 
Um, I usually start out with two or three, gets us in that mind space of where we need to be so we can start tapping. So let's all start here on our karate chop point, okay? And uh, 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 it, uh, I apologize if I'm looking down, I'm reading a script, so I wanna make sure that um, I'm reading it, you know, for everyone to, to work through and to process, all right? So just like Simon says, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say the script, say the phrase, and then you're gonna repeat after me, and then you're gonna follow me through this process as we tap, for those of you who are new to tapping, okay? For those of you who are seasoned, then let's move on, move forward, right? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Even though I tried so hard to save that person's life, but they still died. And I was absolutely devastated. I accept how I feel now. Even though I did the best that I could to save that person's life, and it still wasn't enough, I honor myself and accept how I feel now. Even though I went into this profession to save lives, I feel like not only have I failed myself, but that person and their family as well. I respect myself and accept how I feel now. Okay, let's go to the top of the head. I did the best that I could, but it still wasn't enough. I still failed. I let myself down. Why couldn't I have just saved that person's life? I tried so hard. I've been trained to save lives. People look up to me. I'm a hero. And yet I failed. I am such a failure. Looking that person's family in the eye and telling them that I failed was devastating. I could see the criticism and disappointment in their eyes. I'm supposed to be the hero, but I failed. I can never let my failures go. I deserve to hold on to these feelings forever. It's the least I can do for that person's family. I couldn't save their loved one. I couldn't even show emotion for the loss of their loved one. But I have to be the stoic one. I can't show my feelings around others. They will think that I'm weak. And I cannot show any signs of weakness. I'm afraid to show my weakness. I'm afraid to show any weakness. I'm supposed to be strong all the time. And not show any emotion. But I'm only human with so much sadness inside of me, with so much guilt and shame inside of me. I've seen so much pain and suffering in the world. I carry so much guilt for the people that I could not save. It's way too much for one person to handle. I can only handle so much before I break. I'm on the verge of breaking. 
all of these graphic images inside of my mind. I just want them out. I just want them all to go away. It's time for me to release this pain now. It's time for me to release this pain now. It's time for me to release this pain now. It's time for me to release this pain now. It's time for me to release this pain now. Okay, let's all stop and take a deep breath in. Another deep breath in. Okay, so where are we all at? How are we feeling? Were there certain statements where we got stuck? Were there certain statements that we couldn't say? Were there certain statements where we started to release some emotion? We started to feel something and we were like, oh, I know for me, specifically the weakness um, statements were really hard for me to get through the first time that I did this tapping and um, allowing that pain to go, giving myself permission to allow for that pain to go. That was an area that I knew was really hard um, for me to get through. So we are going to now go back and reprogram the subconscious mind with the higher vibrational positive statements because when we go through and we acknowledge all of those lower vibrational negative statements what we're doing is we are validating we are accepting that that's how our subconscious feels and now we're going back in and we are uh, re-entering reprogramming some new more positive healthy statements to allow us to be able to move forward in our healing journey and in this healing process so we're going to go ahead and just start again on the karate chop point we're going to take a deep breath in for three seconds and hold it for three and then breathe out for three we're going to do one more Okay. I choose to stop beating myself up about this person. Top of the head. I did the best that I could. I choose to release criticism and judgment towards myself and others now. I let go of all the emotions surrounding this person's death now. I choose to forgive myself for not saving this person's life. I choose to forgive myself for not saving this person's life now. I choose to focus on all of the lives that I have saved. I am an amazing person and I am excellent at what I do. I help heal others and I choose to focus on that now. People look up to me for my expertise. That's why I went into this profession to save lives and saving lives makes me feel amazing. I accept that I can't be the hero for everyone, but I choose to be the hero for someone. I choose to release myself from these emotions that I've been holding on to for so long. When I show emotion, I show empathy and compassion. And that builds trust with others and makes me excellent at my profession. I choose to show compassion 
even if it makes me feel weak. I am not considered weak by showing my emotions. I choose to ask for help when I need it. I am not alone. I am passionate about helping others. I communicate with others from my heart. <laughs> and that shows strength. I choose to release this emotional pain now. 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 Because when I do, I am free. All right, let's all stop and take a deep breath in. How are we feeling, guys? Did we release some stuff? Did we release some pain? Did you have a particular person in mind when you were going through that tapping sequence? If you've lost several people, uh, say you're a doctor or a nurse or you know uh, a CNA, any anybody really, a dentist, it could be anybody. If you've suffered some sort of a loss and you've lost several people, you may want to go back through this tapping script and focus on each individual person while you do that. If there's certain people that stick in your mind. I know for me, when I was working in organ and tissue donation, there were many um, donors that would stick to me. They would stick in my mind. There were families that I got so close to that I just deeply felt their pain and I carried their pain for for weeks upon months, even some of them years. And I didn't even really realize what was going on until I learned the concept of what an empath was and that I was carrying their energy. I was carrying uh, that that burden for them without even knowing it. So part of the EFT tapping is incorporating both the, the left and the right hemispheres of the brain. So when we are speaking and tapping, we are incorporating both hemispheres of the brain. And what's that? what that is doing is it's releasing that uh, energetic charge around the emotions that are attached to those particular memories of the loss of those particular patients. So I really hope that this tapping script was beneficial for you and uh, I encourage you to share it with other people, maybe even take it to some of your, your team members and tailor this, tailor this guys to whatever suits your needs. And if you need a personal session, then reach out to me. You can uh, schedule that through uh, www.thesoulcafe.org. And I look forward to, to working with you. And I really look forward to hearing some of your comments on some uh, energy that may have been moved for you in this particular video. So keep your heads up. You guys are doing amazing. And I appreciate each and every one of you each and every one of you is a lifesaver, okay? So, so take this finger and turn it back to yourself and say, I, I am a lifesaver because you are out there saving a lot of people right now and you are doing the best that you can. And I acknowledge that and I send you so much uplifting, positive energy to get you through whatever it is that you are struggling with that is challenging you at this time. You're going to get through it, guys. This is this is only a storm. And we all know that after the storm passes, the sun always comes out. So uh, keep your spirits up. Stay healthy. Eat the best way that you can. Get out there and exercise. Enjoy some fresh air. Get some, get some much-needed sunlight. Your soul will love you for it.